Hey guys, welcome back to my beginner's tutorial, and today you're going to learn the third step in solving a Rubik's Cube. Good luck! If you watched my first two videos, you now know how to solve one layer, as you can see on this cube. In this video, I'll teach you how to build the second layer. Here you see a cube with a second layer built. The difference is, of course, that we now have four edge pieces solved around their corresponding centers. Before we get started, I should first show you something. Remember the sexy move from the second video? Right clockwise, up clockwise, right back, up back. I'm sure you still remember. You need it to do lots of times to make the first layer. You can also do the sexy move on the left side. The moves are the same, but you do them with your left hand. It's exactly mirrored. Left counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, left back, up back. It's not very hard, right? Left counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, left back, up back. One more time, left counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, left back, up back. It's not something new, just do the same on the left side. This is called the Lexi move. You'll see that this trick comes back in making the second layer. I'll show you. This step has much in common with the first and the second step. In the second step, for instance, we used pieces from the top layer that needed to go to the first layer. Now we will look for pieces in the top layer that we can use for the second layer. These are all pieces without a white sticker on it. White is the last layer. Nope. Yes, we can use it. Nope. And yes, we can use it. Let's take this one, the orange-blue edge. Just like in the first step, we will look for the side color, in this case orange, and we'll make a line of it. Do moves like this until it makes a line. There, we made this line. Now look which way it has to go. Does it have to go left? Or does it have to go right? Does it have to go here? Or should it go here? On the left side we have the blue center. On the right side we have the green center. Because the piece is orange blue, it should of course go to the left side. To solve your edge, you first need to learn a few mini steps. These mini steps are very easy to learn. The first one is be mean to your piece. The edge wants to go to the left side, therefore we will be mean to it and move it away. There. That will teach him. The second mini step is to do a sexy move on the side where it has to go to. It should go to the left side, therefore we will also do a sexy move on the left side. A lexy move. Left, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, left back. Up back. That was the second mini step. The third mini step is to turn the cube. The piece wants to go to the left side. Therefore, we will turn the whole cube also with the left side towards us. There. The last mini step is to do a sexy move on the side where you did not do a sexy move yet. We already did a sexy move on the left side. Now we will do a sexy move on the right side and finish. Right, up, right back, up back. You see that it's now solved. Three to go. Let's take this one. We are a little bit lucky and it already made a line. Check which way it has to go. Does it have to go left or right? On the left side we have orange, on the right side the red center. The edge is green red, therefore of course it should go to the right side this time. Remember the mini steps? The first one was be mean to the edge. The edge wants to go to the right side, therefore we will now move it first to the left side. There, 
that'll teach him. Second mini step. Do a second do a sexy move on the side where it has to go to. This time the piece needs to go to the right side. Therefore we will start with a sexy move also on the right side. Right, up, right back, up back. Now remember the third mini step. Move the cube, turn the cube. This time the piece has to go to the right side. Therefore we will turn the right side towards us. Like that. The last mini step. Do a sexy move on the other side. We already did a sexy move on the right side. Therefore we will now do a sexy move on the left side. Left, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, left back, up back. Two pieces. Oh. Two pieces already solved, here, and this one, two to go. We cannot take this one, it does have a white sticker. Let's take this one, the blue, red one. First, make a line. There, we made the line. Check where it has to go to. Left or right? left we have the red center on the right side we have a orange center the piece is blue red of course it has to go to the left side you remember the mini steps the first one was be mean to the piece it should go left therefore we will first move it to the right side there that will teach him second mini step a sexy move on the side where it has to go to. It should go to the left side. Therefore we will also start with a sexy move on the left side. Left, anti-clockwise, up, anti-clockwise, left back, up back. Third mini step, move the cube. It should go to the left side, therefore we will also move the cube with the left side towards us. Like that. Last mini step, do a sexy move on the other side. We just did a sexy move on the left side, so now a sexy move on the right side. Right, up, right back, up back. Three pieces already solved. One to go. The blue orange edge. First again, make a line and see where it has to go to. Left, with orange, or right, with red. Again, this piece needs to go to the left side. The piece is green, orange. First mini step. Move it away. Be mean to the piece. It has to go there, so now we'll move it there. Second mini step. Do a sexy move on the side where it has to go should go to the left side. Therefore, start with a sexy move on the left side. Left, counterclockwise, up, counterclockwise, left, back, up, back. Next mini step, move the cube. should go to the left side. Therefore, move the cube with the left side towards you. That. To finish, do a sexy move on the other side. We just did a sexy move on the left side, so now do a sexy move on the right side to finish. Right, up, right back, up back. You'll see that we now have solved all four of the edges. We're done. Now I'll show you another example. In the first example I showed you how to solve normal edges from the top layer. Sometimes though, there are no edges in the top layer that we can use. White sticker, white sticker, white sticker, and another white sticker. Still, pieces are not solved yet. The solution for this is very simple actually. Move a piece from the top layer to the second layer where a wrong piece is. You already know how to do this. Let's say we're going to take this piece and put it here. 
this orange green edge is wrong. Therefore, by putting this one in, we're going to take this one, of course, out. This should go here, so move it away. Sexy move, rotate, sexy move. You see, the white green edge is now here, and the green orange edge is free. Now it's of course very easy to solve again. Rotate, sexy move, another normal edge. Rotate. Now you see another case of an unsolved piece. No edges in the top layer are available again. This piece is also wrong. To take it out, just get another piece in here. Let's take this one. Move it away. Sexy move. Rotate. Sexy move. You see, the piece that used to be here, red, white, is now here, and set this piece free. Of course, we can solve this piece the normal way. Make a line, move it away, sexy move, rotate, sexy move. Everything can be solved with only this one trick. We're done. Now you know how to build the second layer in solving a Rubik's Cube. You're now ready to go to the next video. Let's start with the last layer.